So in this trailer is, we started uh, steel coating driveways last year. And we call it steel coating. So, of course, if I talk about it enough, I just go do it. So I went and bought a, we went and bought a seal coat machine, uh, the, the tank, the sprayer, all of it. And then of course, all the stuff that comes with it. The weed eat, we got a, a weed eater. We go around and weed eat um, alongside of the driveway. We go around and get all the grass, cut back off the driveway. And sometimes we'll even we'll even take this the weed eater and we'll tip it up on its on its side and go in the cracks and to get the crack cut out. And uh, many people it's the, the pressure washer driveway, which it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, if you got the time and you want a pressure washer, pressure washer. Otherwise, when we show up, we will come in and we clean everything up. You know as good as we can you know we don't obviously we don't come in and pressurize your driveway first and then let it sit for three four days while it dries so we can seal coat it but uh so yeah we're on the weed eater and then this little guy here this is this is nice here here we got the burner for burning weeds if you got to burn them all off if you got weeds in your cracks and everything we'll just we'll come around we might weed eat them off a little bit or weed eat them off and then we'll take this and and burn them off and burn them all down and then of course the big boy blower. This is the BR800C, so that uh, that's the that's the big steel blower, and that's got the front the front pull cord on it to start it. And then uh, there on the other side, I'll have to open up the back door, but there on the other side we've got the the other weed eater with uh, our broom on the end of it. Our bris our bristled broom. We run a bristled broom um, that gets all your gravel bigger chunks of gravel sand anything that's packed on your driveway um that digs all that off um here's that you probably can't see it very good but here this is the bristles there are plastic bristles on it and then there's the whole weed eater there um we do have the edging tool too for edge inside of driveways um but honestly we don't really use it yeah it's we don't we didn't we end up not using it we just take the weed eater we turn it outside we cut back along the driveway and we just seal coat it this guy here this is an awesome machine right here this is this takes crack filling to a whole new level here this guy <clears throat> this is a hot asphalt or a tar it rubberized tar that it melts down this takes it to, i don't remember you know i've been off, I've been off all winter so i don't know is it 300 degrees or yeah 350 degrees we apply hot uh crack filler in your on all your cracks it operates right here you just pull this lever and it drops down and it fills the crack awesome only way to fill cracks right there that is the greatest thing ever um that way they're rub it's hot rubberized so when it goes down that seals it it's nice and sealed it works great um i thought i could open it Show you inside of it. Oh, better turn that back the other way. Wow, the lighting sucks, but you can't see it. Probably very good, but that's all. We just we just leave it right in there. But that's all crack filler. It's rubberized, but right now it's a solid block. You got to heat that whole thing up, get it to 300 degrees before it turns to liquid. And then there's our seal coat or our tank. Here's our tank. We got it bolted in here. Uh, that is a. You know, honestly, I don't even remember how big a tank it is. is it, oh, it's a 100-gallon tank. Must be. Yeah. 100. Yeah, because we put in. Yeah, it's a 100-gallon tank. And then it's got a, a motor on it. A Honda motor. Suck it out of 50. We buy it in 55-gallon drums. We suck it out of 55-gallon drums and dump it in there. And then that's got a 50-foot hose on it, I think. Um, this is a spray machine. You can spray it. We we don't spray it. Um, we haven't yet. We haven't sprayed anything. We just squeegee it on. Our squeegees are down there. We got brooms, brooms and squeegees. We broom broom out the outside perimeter, and then squeegee the center of it. And we just take our hundred or our fifty foot hose there. We just take it out and just back the trailer up to the driveway, and we'll just run it out in the middle of the driveway, and uh, set that right on the ground, and just let that run right on the ground, and then we'll take squeegees and we push it around with the squeegees. So I'll get some, this summer we'll get some video of that. That'll be, um, we did a lot of them last year. Um, I think we bought this machine in July. 
just because over the years I've, I've always looked at it and I've always thought man that would be so cool to have one of those just for fun so we went and spent the I don't know what we got into all this well with the trailer and everything this is just for fun I mean this is a hobby we don't even we did a f we did quite a few last year but honestly it was all pretty much as a hobby it was fun it makes it it made its money back I'm not gonna say it was a bad investment great investment but we don't do it all the time either um, but yeah so this guy here I think maybe I got like maybe 13,000 tied into this whole deal I'd probably say that something like that you know and that's and that's with that's everything you see in this trailer that is buying the trailer used I bought the trailer used um, that's by and then everything else brand new that's brand new weed eaters brand new blower brand new well two weed eaters the blower um and i bought a, a new lp tank just to put one on there just because i like doing all my own stuff so i don't like renting stuff i just buy it all it's it's owned my lp tanks in my yard i own those i, I don't rent nothing i'm not renting anything anyway all right so yeah that's that it's 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 a pretty cool setup. I'll have to uh, do some more recording of it this year. Um, on on mixing our t our 55 gallon drums. So we order them. We order them. Um, our our sealer online, and then uh, they deliver it right to the house here. We unload it, and it sits here. And then when we go to put it in the mix or in the tank, we mix it. You know, we have it all mixed up, or we. We do, I just use battery drills. I just got a battery drill with a mixer on the end of it. And we, you sit there and mix the tank for, I mean, we mix it for probably five, 10 minutes. I mix it for quite a while just cause I want it good and mixed. Um, yeah, that's, so then we mix it and then it pumps it into there. And, uh, and because we don't spray, we don't have a nozzle on the end of our spray hole or gun here. Well, if you could see it, I'd put it all in there, but um and then in these here we do we just slip on rubber these rubber boots over our shoes and uh go that way usually i don't wear rubber boots usually i just keep my shoes on and i'll go in around and i'll cut i'll cut in all around the outside with this guy right here i'll show you what we cut in with so we started out we we started out with just squeegees here let me grab a squeegee here horrible camera picture but here here's the squeegee we use it's a 36 inch squeegee squeegee so that's what we use now when we first started we we started cutting in with the squeegee we do all of our cut-ins so by cut in i mean everything the perimeter so alongside the sidewalk or alongside in front of the garage all the way down the sides of the driveway and it, i just gotta mention one more thing that we why we don't spray because when i drive by a driveway that somebody else did and i see sealer out in the yard drives me nuts i you know you know how you get the black out in the yard you can't spray that over the grass it looks horrible so that's another reason why we don't spray um i know you can be good and not sprayed in the grass but that's my main reason for not spraying anyway so what we cut in with here i got a brand new one right here now these these guys aren't cheap either and i don't buy them at the cheapest spot in the world this actually came from asphalt asphalt kingdom um actually so did all that that's all asphalt kingdom um and actually our sealer we get from from asphalt kingdom too but this guy this is what i do all my cut in with now each to their own is it the right way the wrong way i don't know but let me tell you i love this brush this brush is amazing for cutting in a lot i mean if you're doing you know we, we we've done a few fancy houses and if you're doing alongside a fancy garage, you know, or fancy concrete, you know, that's the last thing you want to be doing is getting sealer. Because once you get this sealer on something that you don't want it on, it ain't never coming off. This stuff sticks like crazy. So, you definitely don't want that. That is not good. So, I, I like to use that. That is great. Um, and another thing is, if our hose doesn't reach far enough, so say our hose... You know, it doesn't reach far enough up the driveway, and it's not crazy long driveway. Um, we will fill up a bucket, a five-gallon bucket. You know, we carry a couple five-gallon buckets. This one here is usually filled with water. We usually carry uh, a five-gallon bucket with the water with us just to clean up our, 
you know, just to clean up some, some stuff, uh, our boots, um, maybe clean the nozzle off on this, or we just carry a little bit of water, but I've got two more of these buckets in the back that you've seen there. We, uh, we'll take those two buckets and we'll fill it right here. We'll just pump it right into the hose and, uh, or if it's a super small driveway or right into the bucket, if it's a super small driveway, you know, say you only need, you know, 10 gallons or 12 gallons, which is, you know, two and a half of these, nothing to it. Um, sometimes you won't even get the hose out. We'll just fill it right here. Just fill the buckets, go out and dump the buckets on there and you're out of there, you know. And then you don't have to drag your hose out and all that. But anyway, that's our setup. And I mounted it all in a trailer just so that, uh, you know, the winter time, like now, just park it, or if it rains or whatever, we don't have to deal with it. You know, we just close the door and it's safe in there and it's not getting sunbaked and, you know, and we don't do it every day. It's not our main, our main goal to do, so. Um, this trailer sits a lot, it just sits here. You know, and when we get a few of them lined up, you know, five, six of them, you know, enough for a day, you know, it depends how big they are, um, then we go do them, so. Then we hook it up and, and go. So, yeah, and I, mean, I didn't buy this trailer new. I bought it used, like I said. And, you know, it's splattered all over, and, and that stuff don't come off. I mean, that stuff, it's stuck. So that is super good sealer we use. Um, it's expensive, and now that this year, we're in 2022, it's got more expensive. It even went up higher. It's uh, crazy now. I probably should have ordered a bunch of it last fall, but here's, the, here's what we use. Asphalt Kingdom Coal Tar pavement sealer that's what it is so that's some leftover some leftover jugs there or 55 gallon drums we got a few left over from last year but like i said cost of fuel i mean everything this year is going crazy well so did i just checked the other day so is uh sealer so i don't know what that's going to do to i mean obviously we're gonna have to raise our prices on everything which i don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen but i guess we'll just order some more and and uh we'll see so all right